the reason why I am very much in favor of what Mint is doing here is because, and I, I totally get what you're saying, but the reason I'm in favor of them doing this is the same reason why I'm in favor of what Cosmic is doing, where the people on Mint and the people on Cosmic, they, whether they're right or wrong, they've very much had a dislike of the direction that they see Gnome and GTK going, especially, you know, Cosmic, where they, they, Cosmic specifically wants their stuff to look the way they want it to look, and if you're going to be building basically what Cosmic was before was Gnome with plugins, like, you're get, it's going to look like Gnome, and that makes sense, because it is Gnome, but they've had these issues with the direction things are going, and instead of just saying, okay, we're going to sit here and just, like, complain about it, we're going to sit here and just, like, say how bad Gnome is, how bad GTK is, they've decided that they're going to sit down and actually do something about it. They're, it's not going and getting involved in the upstream, like, in, involved in GTK, in, involved in Gnome, like, maybe you would like them to do, but they've decided something they want to do, and in Marte's, uh, in, uh, Marte, in um, Mint's Cosmic. case, they're oh. doing a fork. In Cosmic's case, they're making a whole new desktop, which is kind of like, from what I can see, this sort of middle ground between Gnome and GTK, where it frankly looks fairly GTK and oh, uh, Gn Gnome and KDE. I'm misspeaking really badly today. Um, where it looks very much Gnome inspired, but it has a lot more customization, and they're they're not starting where we were in 1998. They're building off of what a modern desktop is today and taking the best parts of Gnome, the best parts of KDE, and building what they feel like is the best desktop for their users. And even if what you see Mint doing or what you see System76 doing with Cosmic is not what you would like them to be doing, at least it's... I, I think we can appreciate the fact that they are doing something to solve their issues with what they see Gnome and GTK doing. I think that the situation for Cosmic and System76 is a bit different, uh, okay. similar in many ways, uh, now that you mention it, but it's also very different because they did try to get involved with Upstream at, at some point. That didn't go well for a variety of reasons I do not do not want to touch on. Um, but regardless, they decided what they were going to do next, and uh, they did. And what they are doing is different, in my opinion, because they're not um like st rem like staying locked in old stuff that they are going to need to maintain they're moving on to completely yeah if you want to talk about different stuff newest of the new they're doing rust gui development like that's if you want to talk about new that is a very very immature ecosystem they are the reason right now there is like rust gooey stuff happening really like the toolkits were there already but before system 76 came in it was not in a great state like you look at the toolkit they're using and now all of the top contributors are people from system 76 like they have been heavily heavily investing both time money and also code into actually getting this up to a state where you legitimately can build a desktop with a rust GUI. Yeah, the, I, and I think that's great. Like, uh, I like for the latest project that I've been working on in Vision, it initially started on Iced, which mm. I believe is the same one that the Cosmic yeah, people yeah, are is. using. Uh, I didn't like it at <laughs> one single bit um, as a developer. And also, I didn't like the styling, but that's a different thing. Um, what can I say? I mean, GTK has been there for a long time, and I also have been developing on it for a while. So I might be, I am very well biased. Um, but at the same time, I am really happy to see um, something new coming out because, uh, like, prior to these new next gen, let's call them that, um, Rust based toolkits. We only had uh, good old Qt and GTK and maybe WX widgets. It's we'll Electron. There. Let's build all our apps in Electron. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Electron based. Electron based desktop environment. You give me shivers. Uh, there are web based ones, so it's totally possible. Yeah, like the thing that Synology don't. has in their NAS. <laughs> no, yeah, don't. Um, 
well, there there are fair uses for it. Like if you want to use it on a browser, it kind of makes sense. But like going to use a desktop, you're going to use a desktop. You don't want to have a browser there just like sucking resources Discount infinitely Chrome until it crashes. <laughs> Discard. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, I like the idea behind the ice. I'm happy to see it move forward. Uh, and I'm happy to see something that's not based on, like that's not written in C or C++, because that's also going to bring a lot more developers in, like working on the actual toolkit. And like, I am fairly young, so I like am not so well versed in uh, C development. Mm -hmm. Uh, or C++ development. Um, but what I can tell you is that for all the um, um, for all the flag that Rust gets for being hard, it's way, way easier than C. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. Um, and I think that that's going to be a net positive in, in general, because even if Cosmic is not going to go anywhere, I'm pretty sure the ICE project will go somewhere or if not it directly some fork of it and we'll have new tools to build stuff around mm -hmm. and i think that that's great because like uh at the end of the day the more choice you have well hmm, i'm, I'm <laughs> second guessing myself but like <laughs> having choice to a certain extent having choice is good and like right sure, now sure, sure. if you want to if you want to build a native a uh, native uh, gui like you have only basically two choices then that, that that's yeah. not great Oh, you know, if you want to build it with like the like native X11 stuff, there's also that. It you shouldn't. <laughs> Isn't but... X11 dead? Is that a meme or? Oh, uh, I think it's X11. Is it ever gonna die? <laughs> X11's I mean... not going anywhere. Uh, I am afraid so. 